I am making cutting seed soup. So first thing, like I said, is to boil this um, oruru or the cutting wool seed. <laughs> yeah, cut the seed with the cutting wool. And now some people get to pour hot water on it, like you can just boil hot water and pour on it. Fine, it still works, but I prefer to just boil it. This way, kill all the germs. You know, like I just feel it's better to boil it. So I'm going to boil it. You find all the cutting wool things around it. So it's best to just boil. Now another thing is I should have just started um, cooking the meat on one side, but um, you can cook the meat I have today. It's very soft goat meat. Yeah, he goat, soft one. Just went to the abattoir, so I don't want to overcook it because this one would like um, take some time to cook as well. So after extracting the cutting seed extract or the cutting seed oil from the cutting seed, I can cook it alongside with the meat. So the thing I'm going to do next is to blend my pepper, onions and tomatoes. I like to add just about one or two tomatoes in my cutting seed soup. So I'm going to add like two tomatoes. This is optional. You can cook this soup without tomatoes, but I just like it with tomatoes. I'll add some pepper to taste. So I'll be using a medium sized onions. So I'll just add the crayfish in water, add some salt to clean it, pick out some of those baby crabs that we'll find in it. Then I'll be adding some of the uziza seeds. Now you can decide to use uda or any spice of choice. I actually prefer to use uda. I don't have uda in the pantry at the moment, so that's why I'm using uziza seeds. I'm gonna cover and blend. Okay, so this is ready. I'm just going to pour it out. I'll rinse my blender because that's what I'll be using for the cutting. The cutting is boiling now. I'm good to go. All the gems cannot withstand this over 100 degree boiling point, okay? So it's time for me to um, rinse it. I'm going to rinse it like, oh, like three times to make sure there is no dirt uh, before I pound it. Now, what you are actually looking out for for this soup is to make sure that there is no dirt. If you bought the cutting seeds that the wool has been removed, you won't go through any of this problem. You just need to grind it or blend it and you're good to go. So, but you pass through this process if you buy the one with the thread or the wool, okay? All right, so this is boiled now and I will just go straight to my sink with a sieve and sieve it. Now I'm going to pack it like this, so that way I can leave some sand behind in case there's any. The next thing I'm going to do now is to blend it. I'm going to blend it bit by bit. The reason is these seeds, it's got wool and this wool is thread. So you need a good blender, one, two, you have to put it bit by bit so that the thread will not roll your blender so but if you do not have a blender if you have a mortar pound growing up is grinding stone we grind or you can blend it dry first then go through all this process again before sieving so there are so many ways to this now i'm using my blender to blend it so i'm just going to take a handful each well let's say two some water i have to be generous with that water don't forget, cutting seeds are actually seeds. They are seeds. So you need a good blender to blend it. If you don't have a good blender, grind, pound, okay? And here we go. So 
So now I'm going to pass it through a tight sieve. Now if you don't have a tight sieve, you can use a muslin cloth as well or all those organza cloths to press the milk out. So but I'll be using it, the tight sieve I have and I will sieve it like twice. So I'll blend the second batch. Okay, so this is ready. I'll sieve again. So we're going to press this one to get the extract out. I'm going to use my hands now. This is fine. This I'm going to throw away. That I'm going to send to the pot, but not now. I have to do like a second sieve to be sure there is no sand in this thing. Okay, so that's our second sieve. So I'm going to take it now to the cooker, turn it on, and you remember I did not boil my meat, so I'm going to add my meat to it now, so it starts cooking immediately. But if you are using maybe beef or tougher meat, please boil and add it to your soup. And this soup is so easy that as soon as you extract the cotton extract from the seed, you can add your pepper, onions and everything to cook along with it. So it doesn't really take time. I'm just going to rinse this and add it to it. Add my stock fish to the pot and they all start cooking. Now let me tell you, this soup can foam can form and fill up your cooking area. So the best thing to do is just open it and allow it cook. Okay, it will still cook. Pieces of stockfish is inside there. Time to clean this fish. So this is smoked mackerel fish. Now that I have it ready, I will work on my shrimps. So I'm going to take a fork and use it to remove the guts. Because if you leave this, sand, lots of sand in it. And if you want to leave the shell on you just do it like this and you remove it so if you want to leave the shell on that's one way to remove it with your fur this is good so time to check the soup all right you can see it's forming a bit if i had covered it by now as it's boiling it will begin to spread on all this workspace the pot everywhere so you just better leave it open to cook. So it's time for me to add the pomo. It's been boiling for a while. And the smoked fish. Smoked fish actually makes soup better. So it's time for me to season this soup. First, I must tell you, if you're going to cook the meat the way I cooked it today, like just drop it into the soup, please don't forget to like season your meat before you drop it. That way it cooks, okay? But if you are boiling it first, you season while you are boiling. So this way you can just rub salt on it. So now I'm going to add some salt, a little bit of palm oil for the shine, seasoning powder. This is good. I'm going to be adding my shrimps now and the periwinkle. This looks good. Stir on it. You see that before I added this stuff, the oil has begun to come up. So once you start seeing the oil coming up, that means your soup is ready. If you want to leave it to keep cooking till it thickens, fine, thicken it to your um, desire. Add the scent leaf. It looks really good. I'm gonna stir on that. Soup done done. I'm just gonna take it to a corner to continue to cook, thicken while I make my semo. I'm using semo today. I hope you love the acha video. A lot of people sent me messages to say, ah, how did you make acha that thick? I told you the secret. Start from cold to it's hot. Add enough flour as much as you want to cook, okay? It doesn't have to be porridgey all the time or too soft. So people love the acha video. You can try it, but today it's semo. So my semo is ready and the soup is ready too. Time to eat. Food done done.
soup is so tasty. Whenever I make soup from my childhood, I'm always very happy. It's so good. Wonderful taste. This soup is so good. Like, so, so good. You should try it. Oforu or Ikporu. Or cotton seed soup. Fantastic. Yeah, I must tell you too. Um, the Indians, rather than use theirs to make soup, they make milk from cotton seed. Yeah. They extract it and make milk from it, vegetarian milk. This is really good. I enjoyed every bit of it. And don't forget, the Foodaholic Festival is December 11th at the Ndubisi Kanu Park. I'm looking forward to see you. There's a lot of food for you to try out at the Foodaholic Festival. Come with your whole family, come with your friends. All right, guys, see you next week. Love you. Wait, we need to see this. <laughs> Got me. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.